All right, so I got some feedback on this cube mapping tool, and uh, I've implemented some changes that, that people wanted. They wanted it to be a little bit easier, so that's what I did. Um, after importing your package from the uh, asset store or wherever you get it from, um, you'll notice that this folder has changed just a little bit. Uh, it's now in uh, a DLL, one there and one right here. It's all hidden, it's all tidied up, and our cube map folder is right there. So how do we get this how do we get these objects going well we just go up to here hdx and click on cube gen it adds a uh, cube manager to our world and then we can simply just click add points to add brand new uh, cube mapping points to this uh, this level so I'm going to add a, a few okay So we got a few in here now. We've got three. And you'll notice that they it wants me to rename them. Well, this one doesn't matter so much as this one. I'm just going to name these uh, cube one, two, and three. The name field on this side will uh, actually determine what the cube map is called and how it's found and referenced. So these have to be unique. Th these ones do not. OK, let me select the main cube manager again. And we want to generate these at 256. Okay, and that's all there is to it. They're output right here. And they're all tied to cube one, cube one, and et cetera, et cetera. So now we want to get this uh the sphere reflecting. So we gotta use a reflective shader, which I have one right here. You'll notice if I hit play, uh it's not updating. Well, I added a new button here where you just select this object, HTX, auto swap cube map for selected. Click that and it adds a cube map swapper uh, script onto it. And then you can just hit play and there you go. That's it.